To get access to the drive shaft carrier, we're going to have to lower the exhaust and remove the heat shield. So the first step is going to be to remove the two tunnel braces. Unplug the connectors and remove the two hangers near the rear diff. Unbolt the two hangers by the rear mufflers. Lower the back end of the exhaust about one to two feet. Unfasten and remove the heat shield. This view is from the rear of the vehicle. We're going to first cut off the driver's side leg. With that leg out of the way, we'll be able to spin the carrier upside down. Then we'll make two more cuts at 3 and 9 o'clock that will release the bearing. Use a razor blade to cut the rubber all the way around the bearing to remove the carrier completely. Trim off the remaining rubber support material, leaving the base layer of rubber on the bearing intact. Now we'll attach a new carrier. Text will face the front. Please note this view is from the rear. Put the top half over and then bring the bottom half up to meet it. Connect the two together with an Allen wrench. As you're tightening it up, make sure you switch back and forth from left to right to make sure the bolts don't bind in the holes. Now we'll bolt the carrier up. Take your bolt, put a fender washer on it, an isolation damper facing up. Go up through the carrier. Then bring another isolation damper down from the top, put your small washer on the very top, and go up into the body. Same thing on the other side, bolt, fender washer, isolation damper, up through the carrier. Then bring your other isolation damper down from the top, put your small washer on the very top, go up to the body. 